It's been brought to my attention that things aren't so positive these days. Yup. Welcome to my party. We're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare star. So like the intro, it's been brought to my attention that things aren't super positive these days. And unfortunately, uh, we're... we're falling into searching for information, trying to glean this knowledge that, that is going to help us to be able to move forward as quickly as possible when, uh, when things go bad. And in that search, what's actually happening is that people are getting caught up in the, the minutia of doom and gloom. Now, me personally, I've, I've gone down this rabbit hole. I've started making videos that are about the worst things that are happening. Even I'm covering the news as if it's it's we're, we're it's nothing but bad, and it just can't be anymore. Uh, you know, we can't sit around and tell people that we're prepared, uh, and then talk about hey, it's the end of the world, and we're we we're, we're, we can't wait for it to happen because that's just not the case. Preppers in general are very good people. They are. They, they, they want the best in things. Uh, you know, uh, there's some that might say that they want things to go back to the way they were. Most of them remember the 80s very well, the early, early 90s very well. Uh, and the, these were very good, prosperous times. They were fun times. They were very free times. And a lot of people want to see that again. Now, to the young people that, that don't know what that is, uh, I understand you see the best of your world, but you know what? It's not a great place right now. It's really not. But getting back on point, staying positive. So my next few live streams are going to be nothing but positivity. They're going to be nothing but uh, prepping and how to uh, prep based off of certain things you may need or covering the positivity level of preparedness. Now, I've reached out to a lot of different companies. I'm trying to help them uh, during prep stock so that uh, if they if they want to sponsor prep stock, that they can uh, sponsor prep stock. And in turn, we will talk about them and try to get people to go to their stores. Because, guys, uh, I checked it out. There's a handful of stores. Like, when's the last time you guys walked into, like, a real prepper store? Yeah, that's right. There's a handful of them, probably within an hour, tops, of... Uh, of where prep stock is going to be going. So that combining those opportunities, like we don't even like wasting trips to the store. You know, we got to hit this, that, and the other thing all, all in a sequence. There's a plan, you know, and all we're doing is going for marshmallows, but there's a plan to go to five different places to accomplish those things in one trip. And that's the mentality behind that. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that people understand that there are positive aspects of preparedness. We don't have to focus on the doom and gloom all the time. I've started doing the threat board again. And I'm, I'm going to do that. And if you guys notice, I don't spend a lot of time on it. I could literally like start breaking it down and making you understand like why I'm picking this as a, a threat. But I think what I'm going to do is just continue on and doing the, uh, uh, the threat board in the, the format that we're using so that you have an idea of what I believe are the current threats or most relevant threats that are going to affect you the fastest. If we don't find out, if we don't stick to the basics of preparedness, you know, water, food, and security, and then everything else as a bonus, then we're going to have a problem. And one of the things that I worry about is that people start to prioritize their news feed or where they're getting their information and recognizing that I'm part of that. And you're prioritizing that, and that isn't your priority. I'm just here for information. I'm just here to entertain you and pass you on information and knowledge that I may have gleaned uh, in, in, in a past life and tell you what I think about it. That's really all I'm doing. If you're dependent on me to tell you the next level, the next way, the way to go, then you are making a huge mistake because I could be wrong about something. Uh, my, I could, I could be this guy who believes in a certain thing and you go down that path and it's not that way. And now it's like, you know, who, who's really at fault? And I don't know. I don't know what I can tell you. And this is really turning into quite the rant. Uh, but, uh, I can tell you is, is that from now on, uh, my videos are going to be more, uh, prepper related instead of doom and gloom related. 
I had I had a Patreon reach out to me. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And uh, let me know that, uh, you know, simply uh, talking about all the things that are bad in our lives is just makes for bad content, you know. Um, I, I, I honestly think I'm going to start doing, like, moving away from the thumbnails. I've been trying to use uh, artificial intelligence to create thumbnails for you guys that are more uh, entertaining. Uh, but I think I'm going to start moving away from that, although I do enjoy it. It is it is kind of fun to create things like that. Um, but uh, I think that uh, uh, I think we need to go el natural, you know, uh, and, and just keep this as uh, grassroots, uh, down to earth and grounded as possible uh, and uh, go from there. I think that's going to be about it for today. Today is actually my day off. I'm out on the road and uh, I'm uh, uh, doing the stuff that I have to do when I, while I'm out in town that I don't have time to make live streams for. All right, guys. Uh, stay safe. Have a great day and I'll see you when I see you. If you like what I'm doing, do me a favor. Support the channel. Click, click a link down below. It really does help. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.